A so-called rationalist in Karnataka called Bhagwan says that Bhagavad Gita has poison. Let us analyze if there is truth in what he has said. First let us hear him. Vishanima Bhagavad Gita le ide alle un chatruna chatruvarna maya sushtam guna karma vibhaga sa nane chatruvarna vana sushti marde anta Krishna heltane. So he quotes the shloka from the Bhagavad Gita. to say that the gita supports inequalities yes krishna did say that he created the four varnas but in the very next line krishna has said that these varnas are based on guna and karma he never said that this is based on birth so where is the question of inequality here friends in any society if you have observed anywhere in the world be it europe us africa there are four groups of people they perform different duties based on their nature and their skill set the first group who is into research the thought leaders the intellectuals the thinkers they shape the thinking of the society they contribute with their brain power then there are the second type of people who are into politics administration in army they contribute with their body power then there are the businessmen farmers entrepreneurs who generate wealth and contribute to the economic growth of the country finally there are people who work for one of these three groups who are actually workers who are into the service sector so friends in any society there are thinkers politicians businessmen and workers is there a problem if we say that there are these four types of people does this sentence show inequality no way this is the nature of any functioning human society in any prosperous society these four groups have to work cooperatively and that is what krishna is saying in the bhagavad gita only the terminology may be a bit different in bhagavad gita the thinkers are called brahmanas please note he never said that only brahmanas are thinkers rather he is saying that those who are involved into thinking those who are the thought leaders are called brahmanas the people in the politics and army are called kshatriyas the people who are into business who are into farming are called vaishyas and those who are working for others are called shudras people take up different occupations based on their nature and skill set that is their guna and karma there's nothing wrong in this just like a doctor's son can become an engineer and an engineer's son can become a doctor we have seen cases in our sanatan dharma history that people born in one varna did the role of some other varna dronacharya for example was born in a brahmana family but acted as a kshatriya vishwamitra was born into a kshatriya family as a king but owing to his intense penances he became a brahmarishi a top class brahmana purandaradasa was born in a vaishya family but yet he composed so wonderful kritis that he is considered as an avatar of narada and uh, shabri from ramayana she was into born into a tribal family but by her sheer devotion she became one of the greatest devotees of lord rama so we see that just like people keep changing their occupation the varnas have been flexible they can be changed all the time let me show you this shloka from bhagavad gita vidya vinay sampanne brahmani gavi hastini shuni chaiva shwapa kecha pandita samadarshinam As per this Bhagavad Gita says that a learned man looks at everyone whether he is a brahmana or a dog eater whether it's a cow or a dog not just people but even animals are looked upon equally as spirit souls in Bhagavad Gita I hope this video has convinced you that Bhagavad Gita does not support any kind of discrimination that's all for this video and see you in the next video